DAU is a premier agriculture university of the country. The recent rankings of the ICR place it at the top of the list actually. The research mandate at PAU is supported through various fundings from the government and the DST PERS project has been a big boost to our research efforts in recent years. We have had two phases of the PERS, first starting in 2011 and the second commencing in 2017. Uh, the first phase was largely devoted to the climate resilient technologies, be it uh, new varieties or uh, production technologies. And the second phase has been devoted to shifting our emphasis from productivity to nutrition. Uh, this DST PERS uh, project funding has come very timely and uh, it is very useful for the PAU wheat breeding program. The objective uh, of this project is to develop wheat varieties with a combination of nutritional and, and use quality traits. So we all know that wheat is the staple diet of the Indian population and improving its uh, nutritional quality will be helpful in improving the health standards of the Indian population. So we have got uh, generous funding to upgrade our laboratories as well as we have got some additional working hands on, in this project. I'm working on wheat, which is entitled by assessments of end use quality on European winter wheat and spring wheat derivatives. Here I'm working uh, lab works. So the project is helping us providing equipment and resources to do our research uh, safely. My name is Dinesh Kumar Sani. I'm Meerat Uttar Pradesh. Ka इधर पंजाब एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी में मैं पीएचडी कर रहा हूं वीट सेक्शन में और ये जो पर्स प्रोजेक्ट है डीएसटी का इसे काफी फंडिंग मिली है इधर यूनिवर्सिटी को तो उसकी वजह से मैं अपनी रिसर्च अच्छे से कर पा रहा हूं जर्नल्स में पेपर भी पब्लिश किए जा सकते हैं मींस इट जैसे कि इसके नाम से ही प्रतीत होता है पर्स सो इट इज रियली प्रमोटिंग यूनिवर्सिटी रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक एक्सीलेंस मैं हरमीत सिंह पीएयू दी वीट लैब दे विच पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट रिसर्चर दे तौर पे काम करता हूं ਤੇ ਇਹ ਮਸ਼ੀਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀਟ ਦਾ ਟਿਸ਼ੂ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਨਾਈਟ੍ਰੋਜਨ ਦੀ ਐਸਟੀਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਬਾਅਦ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਦੀ ਮਾਤਰਾ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਲਾਇਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਮਾਈ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਲਵਲੀਨ ਸਰਾਓ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵਰਕ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਫੈਲੋ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਲੈਬ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਔਨ ਵੀਟ ਹੇ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਡੀਐਨਏ ਆਈਸੋਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਡੀਐਨਏ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਡੀਐਨਏ ਐਮਪਲੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦ ਫੰਡਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਡ ਬਾਈ ਡੀਐਸਟੀ ਪਰਸ ਹੈਜ਼ ਇਨੇਬਲਡ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਅਰ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਟੂ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਲੈਵਲ with the contingency that we got from this project we have been able to procure resources and because of this we are getting at par with the global research mera naam dr sarvjit singh hai main yahan punjab krishi vishwavidyalay mein dalon ka anushandhan par kaam kar raha hu jo bharat sarkar ki swasth bharat ki muhim hai uske antargat hame pars pariyojana mein jo paisa mila hai usse hame bahut hi labh hua hai उसमें हमने चना जिसको चिक्पी और दूसरी जो दालों की फसल है अरहर जिसको हम पिजन पी भी कहते हैं उसमें हमने ऐसी किस्में विकसित करने का कार्य प्रारंभ किया है कि उन किस्मों में जिंक और आयरन की मात्रा को बढ़ाया जा सके सो हम उस पर कार्य कर रहे हैं और बहुत सारे हमने इसमें केमिकल इस परियोजना में खरीदे हैं मैं यहाँ पर पी थर्ड ईयर का विद्यार्थी हूँ हमारा काम यहाँ पे चने की जो गुणवत्ता है उसको बढ़ाने का है हम यहाँ पे मेनली आयरन और जिंक की गुणवत्ता के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं पी एच डी इन बाई केमिस्ट्री थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट सो करंटली आई एम यूजिंग दिस ऑक्सीट एपरेटस नाउ करंटली आई एम एक्सट्रैक्टिंग क्रूड ऑयल फ्रॉम दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ क्रूड ऑयल इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट and uh, this uh, dbt funder project has helped us a lot and uh, now we are very happily working with that so myself dr rs gill in charge rice section department of plant breeding and genetics pau ludhiana so this funding which has been provided by the dst under the pers projects has been really helpful to us in strengthening our rice research program so the funding which has been provided for the purchase of equipments under this project has helped us to purchase some of the equipments which were really needed to us in our rice quality lab we have purchased two two equipments one is the spectrophotometer lying on the back side and i am uh, currently working on nitrogen metabolizing enzymes on uv visible spectrophotometer welcome to this department of soil science here we are running a dst funded pulse project 
dedicated for purchase of state of the art equipments like gas chromatograph and uh, UV visible spectrophotometer and in addition we bought some small instruments for the for enabling the PG students for uh, doing high end research as well as uh, this, these uh, instruments are being used by the younger faculty for their research and uh, also about 15 lakh rupees were dedicated to infrastructure facility in which we improved our uh, classroom facilities and lecture room complex in Department of Soil Science. Quantification of greenhouse gas emissions under different management practices in dry sweet system. This instrument that is gas chromatograph is used for the analysis of different greenhouse gases. This instrument is highly beneficial for studying greenhouse gases. As the, the instrument I was working is UV spectrophotometer. It is used for the measurement of the phosphorus, sulfur and the various other anions such as the nitrate also and the readings we are getting from it are highly accurate uh, comparative to the other instruments. वर्ष के इस प्रोजेक्ट के अधीन हमने घर में सब्जी उगाने के लिए अलग-अलग वैरायटीज है जो वो इजाद की है और उन किस्मों को उगाने के लिए जो मीडिया चाहिए जो कंटेनर साइज चाहिए और जो स्ट्रक्चर चाहिए उसको रखने के लिए वो भी स्टैंडर्डाइज किया है इस प्रोजेक्ट को अपनाने से आम कंज्यूमर को खास तौर पे शहरी इलाकों में जहां जो जगह की कमी है सब्जी जो है जहर रहत उगा पाएंगे और इस प्रोजेक्ट के अधीन आम कंज्यूमर को उसका बहुत लाभ होगा। Rotary shaker and incubator is a very essential equipment so that we can do our cloning and vector works here. We are using some of the instruments like incubator, laminar airflow. Rotary shaker and the autoclave. For the for we are using these instruments for the cloning of the genes, and I am very thankful to the Department of Science and Technology. So we have procured this, this key. machine, carbon dioxide incubator, which is sponsored by the Department of Science and Technology, Ministry of Science and Technology, New Delhi, under the PERS scheme. This machine control has the potential to control carbon dioxide and the temperature. So what we do, we do study the biology of the insects in this is in this machine under the variant level of carbon dioxide and temperature we can also calculate the gro different growth indices of the insect pest using this machine so this is uh, contributing this machine is helping us a lot to conduct the studies on the insect pest many i'm here to show the plant growth chambers funded by the dst these chambers are used for the uh, insect re insecticide resistance against the various insect pests. We are using these chambers for the test insect as well as the test plant rearing. Our plant bacteriology laboratory in the Department of Plant Pathology uh, has been fortunate enough to receive the TST sponsored PERS grant twice during the phase one as well as during the phase two. So out of this grant we have been able to strengthen our research on host pathogen interactions, especially under the future climate change scenario. So this grant also helped us to train our future generation of researchers in a better way. The facilities uh, created out of this grant, they have been extensively used by our masters and doctorate students who are working on various aspects of pathogen population biology and developing holistic management packages for plant diseases. Myself Vishwinder, currently I am pursuing PhD in plant pathology. My so the entire infrastructure facilities which was granted and funded by PERS led me to pursue all the research activities in PhD program. And so nine research publications are yet to be reviewed and are, they all are under pipeline. So I thank PERS for granting all the infrastructure facilities. I'm a PhD final year student and my research topic is characterization of citrus screening pathogen which is a serious problem under Punjab condition in citrus fruits. So I am working here and there are different instruments which are very helpful for me for conducting my research like gel docs, apparatus and electropor electroporation so, unit. As and you know that in the present time advanced analysis that are the uh, prime requirement of your research and for that uh, four equipments including rheometer 
NIR analyzer, water purification system, and the dual lab like rheometer. It tells about the rheological properties of the food and. Uh, rheology means the study of the flow and the deformation of the material. Uh, dough so lab is there, it tells about the dough strength and what amount of water is required for dough. For that we have a dough lab. For all this equipment that has been funded by the uh, DST. Project has uh, affected actually both the direction and the pace of technology development at PAU and I'm sure this is going to show its impact uh, in the coming uh, years and my sincere gratitude for the support uh, received under this uh, uh, series of projects and uh, we uh, keenly look forward to further opportunities in this regard. Thank you.